we're now on to question four for part C operating online so please do leave a like do leave a subscribe to help the channel grow thank you very much ED is a student at Wigmore College she's working with other students on a project to investigate the effects of plastic on the environment all students have internet access and use a wiki so the same as before use a wiki um, as their online method of collaboration explain two benefits of using a wiki to collaborate with other students now again collaborate means to work together possibly at the same time possibly using the same resource and mo in, in most times working towards a similar goal a similar end product and a wiki is an online platform online system or service which which allows people to work collaboratively allows people to work together allows people to share files and, and information can limit access to the group can set up the system to only accept invited participants ensures that the group have control over contributions 100 percent now a wiki is very very similar to what we might see today in uh, as i've mentioned before google drive and onedrive where you share the document with certain people now you might have other people being able to view the information but only certain people can actually put or save information in that document so being editable customizable and updated and embed upload documents example spreadsheets calendars images videos web links by only the members of the group so quite simply you can edit it and you can add other files and other resources to the wiki because it's normally again a web page type situation where we can add other resources to that web page next we have simultaneously sharing of documents reduces time sending documents to all of the group everyone sees the same document potentially at the same time very true nowadays people don't really email documents back and forth back and forth we have the document maybe on our email or on our onedrive or google drive or dropbox or amazon amazon storage and we give someone a link to that document and we might say okay can you please just fill in section three or section four and that's it much easier way than constantly you email someone a document they fill it in they send it back you check it they may they might have made a mistake you send it back you can actually put a comment here straight away and they might see it next we have ease of use easy to set up don't require advanced editing skills knowledge of computer programming you don't need to know how to program computers to be able to edit wikis typically now because it typically is a website type situation or type thing having some knowledge of HTML might be beneficial, right? But is not entirely necessary. Simple to navigate can include sections, tabs, links between multiple pages. So just think of a, a, a very small website. That website has information about only that thing. So we can link back and forth to other pages, okay? Weisswig, uh, so what you see is what you get. All of the groups see the same page and again, potentially at the same time, once it's been updated by one person and the, the other members either refresh or it auto-refreshes or auto-updates, then everyone will see it. So there is typically version control in some of them. Users can refer back to the previous versions, can recover previously edited information or data. Not always the case, but the version control is very, very, very useful. And again, version 1 think of version one as your empty document you create your empty document on monday um, by the end of monday evening you've done 500 words that might be version two version three at the end of wednesday and so on and so forth until the end of the week until you have let's say seven versions right if you realize oh no i made a big mistake i deleted something from version two that i needed for this part now what you could do you simply go to your version control go back to the previous version what did i say two or three i believe and get the information you need from there because it doesn't actually delete that information you might have removed it from a document but because the version control is present it's constantly making backups of that document so when you need something that you that was removed previously or moved around previously you can always go back and find where that stuff is